Undernutrition takes an enormous toll, particularly in developing countries. It contributes to roughly half of the 8.8 million child deaths each year. It also has far-reaching consequences for productivity and development. Stunting, which is defined as low height for one's age, is an indicator of chronic undernutrition and results from a lack of nutritious food, inadequate child and maternal care, and or frequent attacks of infectious disease, like those that cause diarrhea. In Sub-Saharan Africa, about 40% of children under 5 suffer from stunted growth. That statistic has remained largely unchanged for the past two decades. Although the causes of stunting are well known, few studies have evaluated strategies that combine both nutrition-specific, health-based approaches with food system and livelihood-based interventions. This study assesses changes in levels of childhood stunting and its causes across Millennium Villages project sites in nine African countries. The Millennium Villages project is a 10-year multi-sectoral program aiming to accelerate progress toward the Millennium Development Goals. The project is underway in rural sites across diverse agroecological zones in Sub-Saharan Africa. Communities vary from agropastoralists in Mali to cocoa farmers in Ghana to smallholder maize producers in Kenya. The project is helping to build systems and implement evidence-based interventions across sectors including agriculture, health, education, business, environment, infrastructure. Examples of interventions to improve nutrition include crop diversification, livestock and small animal rearing, promotion of improved infant and young child feeding practices, and a community-based program to manage acute malnutrition. This study involved 2,700 households in nine Millennium Village sites in nine African countries. At the start of the project, the average level of stunting among children aged 2 and under across these sites was 52%, varying from 25% in Bonsaso, Ghana, to 78% in Pampaida, Nigeria. The findings revealed that um, between baseline and year three of the study, there was compelling evidence on reduction in stunting prevalence by 43%. So it is also important to recognize some of the major limitations of the study. And one of the major limitations is that because of the observational design and because of the complexity of the interventions, it is not possible to draw causal relationship between the interventions of the Millennium Village project and these reductions in stunting. Our study is a good evidence-based information and pointer to the fact that it's possible to reduce stunting. And what is very different about this study is that the Millennium Village project addresses many of the underlying um, determinants of stunting, like unfunctional food systems and poverty. And you can actually compare it with um, a pyramid where um, the Millennium Village project really addresses the base of the pyramid as well as the other layers in which the base of the pyramid is the food systems and access to healthcare, access to basic infrastructure. While many of the other nutrition projects, they focus mostly on the top of the pyramid with very nutrition specific interventions. So we think it is important to look at the entire pyramid of interventions, including this big, very important base of the pyramid and we hope that this study can trigger also other studies to look at such multi-sectoral um, package of interventions.